This is South Florida Tonight on NBC6 HD. Hello, everyone. We start out tonight with breaking news coming out of Lauder Hill. That's where police have made an arrest in the death of a baby who was killed in an apartment fire. And that fire happened two weeks ago. But tonight, before two days before what would have been that baby's first birthday, police have made a shocking arrest. Sharon Lawson live in Lauder Hill tonight to tell us who they've arrested and how they caught her. Sharon. Well, guys, this is a very disturbing and shocking new revelation. 11-month-old Jada Reynolds was just laid to rest, and now we are learning that she was murdered, and her mother is being charged with a crime. Take a look at this video. This is 26-year-old Shashin Monique Reynolds, seen here being consoled by her husband at the time of the fire. Well, now she's in the custody of Lauder Hill Police, charged with first-degree murder of her infant child, Jada, who would have celebrated her first birthday on Christmas Day, as you heard Julia just say. Now, this was the scene on December 1st at 6010 South Falls Circle Drive as flames tore through this apartment building. It was intense. At first, Shashin told detectives she had lit candles in the apartment because her power was shut off. But evidence recovered from the scene, authorities are saying, unveils a more sinister plan. We got some information from the state fire marshal lab that some of the samples that were taken at the scene of the fire tested positive for the presence of gasoline. We feel that the fire was intentionally set. Has she expressed any remorse? What is she saying? Our detectives tell me that she is not showing the signs typical of someone who's lost a, an infant. Um, in fact, not necessarily cold, but just unemotional. And that's, that seems to be unusual in, in this type of a situation. Now you're looking up at a picture of the 11-month-old victim, Jada. Once again, Shashin Monique Reynolds has been charged with the first-degree murder of her baby baby girl, as you see her right there, 11-month-old Jada. Back out live now, according to authorities, uh, her mother, Shashin Reynolds, is not cooperating with police. She's not saying anything. She has retained an attorney. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story and bring you any new developments. Reporting live from Lauder Hill, Sharon Lawson, South Florida, tonight. The other big story today, Chopper 6 HD over the end to a chase that almost killed a woman in Miami. Now, this wasn't a police chase, though. Instead, police tell us the woman crashed into another car while she was chasing three men who stole her purse. But now the woman and the innocent driver involved in this are in the hospital and the suspects are still on the loose. Amra Sohn live tonight at Jackson Memorial Hospital with the latest on their conditions. Amra. Well, last we heard, both women are in critical but stable condition here at Jackson Memorial Hospital. And police say the victim of this purse snatching should have never tried to chase down these criminals because the ending of all this could have been deadly. According to authorities, the woman behind the wheel of this burnt out BMW tried to take the law into her own hands, critically injuring herself and another innocent driver. Around noontime, three men reportedly smashed her window, snatched her purse, and then drove off, possibly in a silver Chevy Malibu near Northwest 18th Avenue and 28th Street. It didn't stop there, though. She got back in her car to chase the thieves down. And instead of uh, stopping and conversing with the officers, she just slowed down enough to tell the officers to follow her and then sped away behind what appeared to be a uh, silver Chevy Malibu. Their pursuit ended abruptly on North Miami Avenue and Northwest 69th Street when another car T-boned the BMW, which lost control, hit a light pole and then burst into flames. I was outside talking on the phone and then like all of a sudden I heard a, a loud crash and then I looked and the lady was on the floor. Three officers quickly rescued the woman from the burning car. The crash also causing a power outage and a big headache for some residents. No eating, can't sleep, cause you know we got electricity stove and everything, so everything's just gonna be off for another day or so. And soon after, police did find that Chevy Malibu abandoned just a few blocks away from the scene, Northeast 71st Street and 2nd Avenue with the purse inside. Again, police are searching for three male suspects. If you saw anything or have any information, call Miami Day Crime Stoppers 305-471-TIPS. The very latest from Miami, Amro Stone, South Florida tonight. We're following some developing news tonight out of West Miami Day. That's where a driver was rescued after his car ended up in a lake. Now, this happened this evening along North Meadow Lake Road in the lakes of the Meadow community. We don't know why, but the driver crossed the median, drove through a backyard and a fence before ending up in the water. Four firefighters and three police officers physically lifted the car so the driver could be pulled out. That driver at Jack's Memorial Hospital tonight in serious condition.
All right, folks, let's think about this. In New York right now, it's about 29 degrees. Brr. Chicago, 26. Boston, 23. But here in South Florida, I think it's like the lower 70s. Oh, hmm. it's so nice to be where we are right now. And Trina Robinson here to tell us just how nice Christmas Day will be. Trina, I want to go bike riding on Christmas, so tell me if I can do that. You can do that, Julia. You can spend the whole day outside because it's going to be absolutely delightful. It's going to be a warm one, though, so don't expect any cool air getting in here. Let's go to our Weather Plus Doppler radar right now because I told you earlier at 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock that we would see some shower activity. Well, you got it. Uh, if you're out there finishing up that shopping or maybe hit one of those places where you got the 24 hour shopping so you don't have to wrap up anytime soon, you're seeing some shower activity. We've had persistent showers around Key Largo, a couple down Isla Mirada, right around Marathon. We also have had some on the mainland right around Pembroke Pines and Miramar. So yeah, some of the showers are coming down around Doral, Sweetwater, Coral Gables. Let's go to the satellite picture. Reason why we've got a front backing over us and that brought in all the cloud cover today. So today we're going to see more breezy conditions tonight rip current danger at the beaches tomorrow starting out at 70 getting up to 80 and don't forget friends anytime you need weather information you know where to go 24 7 nbc6.net but tonight fort lauderdale police are standing by their decision to shoot and kill a teen who they say was suicidal community members showed up for a meeting with police tonight police say the officer involved in the shooting followed proper guidelines during that shooting but that investigation continues at the conclusion of this investigation, all information gathered will be forwarded to the Broward County State Attorney's Office. Mr. Christian's family members have been offered bereavement counseling from the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Monday, 18-year-old Jordan Christian tried to commit suicide. When officers arrived, Christian charged at them with a knife, and police say they tried stopping the teen with a taser, but it didn't work. That's when they say they were forced to fire that fatal shot. New details tonight in the search for two men who killed an armored truck guard. Police are hoping new sketches will lead them to the killers who have left a South Florida family devastated for the holidays. Police say these are the men who shot and killed Carlos Alvarado two weeks ago at Dadeland Mall. The guard with Dunbar security was making a pickup when he was ambushed. Today, Alvarado's family talked about what the loss means to them, especially with Christmas approaching. Let's just be the four of us and then, uh, you know, midnight, like, you know, Hispanic tradition, just open the gifts and go to sleep and stuff. But now it's it's completely different. He meant so much to me. He he was not only my mentor, he was like, he was my hero. He was my hero. That was my father. Police previously released this surveillance video of the suspects inside that mall. If you have any information, you can call Miami-Dade Police and you do not have to give your name. Well, tomorrow, shoppers will have one last day to find those holiday deals, but be warned. At the same time, criminals will also be searching for steals. The National Association for Shoplifting Prevention says shoplifting increased nearly 20 percent in just one year. Police say criminals have been stealing mostly clothing and electronics. And this year, the crooks are inventing new tools and methods. We actually have seen an increase in booster bags. A booster bag is a large bag that someone walk into a store with, but it's actually insulated with aluminum foil. What the aluminum foil actually does, it defeats the alarm system. But as a shopper, just be aware. Just look around. You know, if you, if you put your own baggage down, be careful because somebody will come in and take stuff out of your bag. In some cases, shoplifting is considered a third degree felony. And if you're convicted, you can face up to five years in prison. After three years in Iraq, a mother who is a soldier returns home to the sweet sounds of her little girl's footsteps. So why is that unusual? Well, the four-year-old was diagnosed with cerebral palsy as an infant, and her family was told by doctors that she would always need help walking. So for her mother to see her daughter walking, much less running, seems nothing short of a miracle. New tonight, Gary Whittem has the story of their touching reunion. Delta Flight 505 empties. <laughs> Four-year-old Cheyenne waits with her grandmother, doing something she's never been able to do. That's the reaction from a mother, seeing her child run on her own for the very first time. For the past 36 months, Sid Leslie was fighting the war on terror in Iraq. Just about the entire time, four-year-old Cheyenne has been fighting to take her very first steps without help. She was walking with assistance, she was falling everywhere, and now she's on doing it on her own. 
own. It's amazing. I thought I'd never see it. Girl. Cheyenne was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at birth and needed a walker to get around, but we're told with the help of an aggressive physical therapy program, she's able to do the things kids take for granted. Play. While most families this holiday season are spending money on gifts, the Leslie family received two gifts that are priceless. Reporting from the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, Gary Whittem, South Florida tonight. And Gary told me that mother has to go back to Iraq in two weeks, but then she comes back for a mission and she's here permanently. We wish her well and her daughter. What a great Christmas present. Well, still ahead here on South Florida tonight. After two years in the hospital, hope for the holidays for one baby and his family. A terrifying situation in California when a young boy is snatched off the street and held hostage by a gunman. Workers struggling with a risky rescue after a water main break. This is a water main break that traps dozens of motorists. The Food and Drug Administration warns against dozens of diet pills that could be hazardous to your health. Hello, Ramona. Happy holidays. We've got Owen Wilson from Marley Me on the program tonight. Some amazing animals with Julie Scardina and Natalie Cole singing my favorite Christmas song and last minute Christmas products coming up right after the news. Now at Rooms to Go Kids, see the exclusive NFL Kids Bedroom Collection. It's an amazing lineup, four exciting styles, and a roster filled with great looks for every NFL team. So don't miss out on the action. Beat the rush. Pick your style, pick your team, and make your favorite NFL team a part of your playbook. 32 teams, four cool styles, the NFL Bedroom Collection, exclusively at Rooms to Go Kids. Coming up, a young boy taken hostage by a gunman in California. We have the top stories making it news across America. Plus, they promise to help you shed pounds without the work. Tonight, a new warning about diet pills that may be in your cabinet right now. And good evening. We've got some sprinkles on radar. Will they stick around for Christmas Day and Christmas Eve? I've got your forecast coming up. You're watching South Florida Tonight in high definition. And streaming live on NBC6.net. It's that magical time of year. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Event, now through January 2nd. There's never been a better time to get special offers on that E-Class on your wish list. 2008 highest ranked midsize premium car in initial quality two years in a row by J.D. Power and Associates. This toy designer thinks it's a big, fat, dumb head idea to cut production because of the economy. So Marshalls will snag his delightful toys at an absurdly low price. His six-year-old mentality is now your shop opportunity at Marshalls. Brands of Art USA and Samsung bring you low, low prices on plasma and LCD technology. Get brilliant, rich color on a 42-inch plasma for $698.88 or 50-inch plasma for $898.88. It's picture perfection when you add 1080p technology to a 40-inch LCD for $798.88 or 46-inch for $1098.88. Save up to $1,000 on select Samsung flat panel TVs. Get 0% financing and pay nothing until 2010 on all Samsung 1080p 120Hz TVs. Samsung and Brands Mart USA. Of course, your favorite brand. Low, low prices. This December, the critics are certain. You will tell me what you have done. Doubt is one of the best pictures of the year. And now it's been nominated for five Golden Globe Awards and Best Picture. Where is your compassion? Nowhere you can get at it. Doubt. Ready PG-13. Now in select cities. Everywhere Christmas Day. And we have some important news to report about the pending sale of this television station, WTVJ. In a joint statement issued late today, quote, the Washington Post Company and NBC local media today announced that the intended sale of WTVJ to the Washington Post Company will not go forward. Given the current economic environment and the delay in receiving the necessary regulatory approval, the deal has been terminated. The purchase of WTVJ was scheduled to close by the end of 2008, end quote. A heartwarming story tonight that's a marvel of modern medicine. A two-year-old who was born with his heart outside his chest is receiving the most precious gift of all. Doctors at Jackson Memorial Hospital gave little Nassim Hasni his first Christmas without a ventilator. Surgeons constructed the breastbone that he was born without. They took a few of his left ribs and used a skin graft to close his chest. Now Nassim and his family are ready to celebrate his first Christmas. He's a joy to have. He's brightens our day no matter how upset you feel you look at him and you just thank god that that's you know he's still here and he's doing as good as he is so it's a very unusual uh case and a very uh, gratifying outcome 
Doctors say the rare defect is usually fatal. It's only found in about six out of every one million babies, and of those, only about half survive surgery. News across America begins tonight out in California. A six-year-old boy is shot when a hostage standoff in an L.A. suburb ends in gunfire. Police say a gunman grabbed the child off the sidewalk, then took him to the back room of a Chinese restaurant. After two hours of negotiations, a flashbang grenade exploded, followed by gunshots. Moments later, police emerged with the boy. He had been shot in the leg. He's in critical condition. It's not clear who fired the shots, but the suspect was killed. A dozen people near Bethesda, Maryland, had to be rescued from the raging waters of, get this, a water main break. Take a look at the video. Absolutely incredible. The accident created a wall of water four to five feet high, trapping drivers on their way to work in the D.C. area. Some of the trapped drivers were pulled out by helicopter. Others sat helpless in their cars for more than an hour until help arrived by boat. Well, you know, the service at a pancake house in San Diego must be pretty darn good, judging by the tips, or at least one tip in particular. Waitress Julie Jones arrived for work this morning to find a $1,000 tip waiting for her. According to the owner of the restaurant, a group of customers arranged the tip for the hard-working waitress a couple of days ago. The customers asked to remain anonymous so they could continue to patronize that establishment. Yeah, and so is this, Julia and Joel. We've got a zillion lights at 943 North South Lake Drive. This is courtesy Mark Schoenfeld, this is his home, and it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Lights everywhere, putting you in the festive mood. Uh, great to look at as we head toward Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day, and as we work our way through Hanukkah. Happy holidays to each and every one of you out there. And our holiday homes continues again tomorrow. Well, we got some showers out there. I warned you about this earlier this evening that um, we do have that front kind of backing over us. So it's spiking a few showers. Not a big deal, but I know it's a little bit of a nuisance for all of us folks who uh, still have some shopping to do. It might hit that all night Walmart or any other stores that might be staying over late. We are seeing some showers right around Key Biscayne, Doral, Sweetwater, uh, down the homestead. We saw some also around Isla Mirada. We also have a shower right there around Fort Lauderdale as you approach 95 and then over to Lauder Hill. Coral Springs also getting a little bit of a dousing as well. Let's turn our attention to the satellite picture. I'll show you. We had the cold front come in last night. Didn't leave a whole lot of cold air. As a matter of fact, the winds rapidly shifted over to the east and northeast, and that brings in a warmer flow. Now, that cold front that was around the Florida Straits is backing over us. That's why we saw so much cloud cover today, and now it's even uh, sparking a few showers. Not a big deal. Now, tonight we're going to continue. Windy to breezy. Same thing tomorrow. More breezy conditions. Because of that, the rip current danger will stick around for a few more days. Christmas Day looking warm and wonderful. And I know a lot of locals are like, why can't we have some cold air? Well, you know what? You got to get on a plane and travel because it's going to be near 80 degrees on Christmas Day. As we look at the winds right now, 12 miles per hour in Key West, same thing in Marathon, 21 miles per hour in West Palm Beach. Those winds are whipping. Pompano Beach at 17, Pembroke Pines at 14, Opalaka 16, 13, and Kendo. As we look at the temperatures, we've got 70s. Yeah, we had some 50s last night. Well, those are gone. We've got mostly 70s across the area. We'll drop down into probably the upper 60s in some areas, but it's going to be a warm one. We'll start you out at 7 a.m. tomorrow on Christmas Eve at 70 degrees, 76 by midday as you're doing that shopping and wrapping things up and getting out of the workplace if you're still working. 80 degrees will, is where we'll go for that high temperature. So looking good, but it is going to be rather warm. How about that six day forecast? Well, check it out. 80 degrees tomorrow, breezy and mild, warm for Christmas Day and staying warm for the next three to four days. That is your forecast. Have a great evening. Trina, thank you. Well, our own St. Nick, Nick Bogart, of course, dips into Santa's mailbag to see what kids want for Christmas this year. I love these stories. Last <laughs> night, we heard what some kids are asking for this year. And tonight, Nick Bogart shows us what the kids have to say about their behavior and their Christmas wishes. Christmas spirit from Santa's pen pals? Tell me about it. Santa is a great person at the very least, though the flying reindeer and overnight global delivery route suggest superhuman powers. And what about those elves? Emma wants one to stay with her in Miami, where it's sunny and warm, so it'll be like a vacation for your elf, she says. Lucas, concerned that Santa himself got a break. Where'd you and Mrs. Claus vacation? Disney? NASA? Eleanor requests that Santa appear in some of her dreams, also reporting that her father has revealed his role as a Santa's helper to her. Now, some kids think Santa needs their help come Christmas Eve. 
Emma lists coordinates for the GPS in Santa's sleigh. And Maya gives directions to her room in case Santa loses his bearings sliding down the chimney. Veronica recalls Santa broke an ornament on her Christmas tree last year, or was that the cat's? But most kids are more worried about their own transgressions. Fritz writes, very sorry for all the bad things I did. Please, please forgive me. Zeanne apologizes in advance if her dog barks at Santa and pledges, though she's undeserving of the gifts on her list, she will behave better. So elves, have you yourselves given any thought how you might behave better? When other friends get me mad, I shouldn't be, wrong. I shouldn't be mad at them. I might not wrestle with my sister in World St. Nick. There is plenty of evidence kids are thinking about more than their own desires. Regina gives Santa descriptions of a couple of dogs lost in her neighborhood. Casey spots them making the rounds on Christmas Eve. Dylan's list includes boyfriends for Nina and Lala, and a PS asking Santa to keep Dylan's daddy safe. Sergio asks Santa to pray for his sick grandmother and wishes for a very healthy baby brother. In between those heartwarming requests are more down-to-earth must-haves, Wii games and Nerf guns. Astrid lists gifts for friends and family members, but not herself. But her classmate Melissa wants to make sure Astrid gets that secret password journal she wants. Melissa also urges Santa to make sure the poor kids get toys too. Maverick advises Santa to make sure extra presents go to charity. And Joseph writes, God bless you and everybody in the world. Lots of kids express their faith in Santa. Santa, you are the best forever and ever, is Kyle's take on things. I believe in you always, I will, writes Amanda, closing with, I love you, Santa. On that note, the elves and I will close up Santa's mailbag with one final thought. Happy holidays, dear you. Nick Bogert, NBC6. <laughs> so I cute. love that. <laughs> no, I can't believe you got those elves to be so outgoing. No, they're perfect. I wonder what types of Santa letters our local sports guys would write. Hint, hint. I have an idea. Hey, tonight, we're actually venturing inside the Jets' locker room. And one Heath player was on fire tonight. Couldn't miss, made everything he touched, but guess what? Not talking about Dwayne Wade. Highlights from the game just ahead. And by the way, on Christmas morning, you can join us for a half hour of greetings from our troops overseas while we watch the basketball game there. It's called Holiday Heroes. There it is, messages from the front lines at 6.30 a.m. when you're opening presents. You'll only see it here on NBC6 HD. Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Carol. I'm stationed in Brunson, Netherlands. I want to say hello and Merry Christmas to my sister, Tamika Carol, in Miami, Florida, and her family. Happy holidays. It's Car and Driver's best pickup two years running and offers an EPA estimated 21 miles per gallon highway. Nobody beats it. Not Ford, not Toyota, nobody. The Chevy Silverado XFE, made by GM. Surprised? Or get the Silverado 1LT available with an EPA estimated 20 MPG highway for under 19,000. This red tag value won't last long. See your local Chevy dealer. I said do it. In two days, one plan means action. We have to kill Hitler. One word means courage. Operation Valkyrie is in effect. One movie is being called the best suspense thriller of the year. Tom Cruise, Valkyrie. Rated PG-13, Thursday. Seasonings greetings from your mates at Outback. Now get a free $20 bonus card when you buy $100 in holiday gift cards at any Outback or Outback.com. The reindeer were thrifty and using their noggins. They hitched the free ride on the penguins to bargain for gadgets and gizmos. And more for their dollar. The Wednesday Target! Everyone hollered, penguins got cameras and blitz in TVs. Young Prancer bought games and shiny CDs. When asked why they shopped there, this answer they gave, There's no place like Target at Christmas to save. <laughs> It's always a party at Mardi Gras. Get what you want, get what you need. 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 Get what you want, get what you need.
get it all with Comcast Digital Cable and On Demand. 10,000 titles you can start anytime. Most are free. And access to over 1,000 HD programming choices when you get HD DVR service for only $9.99 more per month. Get what you want. Get digital cable and on-demand, $29.99 a month for six months. Add HD DVR for $9.99 a month. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Have you ever led an expedition? Have you ever been honored by the Louvre? Have you ever protected nobility? Have you ever seen the curvature of the Earth? Range Rover. Designed for the extraordinary. Visit your local Land Rover Center and take advantage of our special holiday savings on all models. Closed captioning on NBC6 is brought to you by UHealth, the University of Miami Health System, powered by the groundbreaking research and medical excellence of the Miller School of Medicine. A nationwide recall tonight from the Food and Drug Administration. The Fed saying 28 different diet pills contain dangerous unlisted ingredients, even suspected carcinogens. Lab testing found the supplements contain a powerful appetite suppressant that a chemical cousin that is a chemical cousin of amphetamines. It can cause heart attacks, strokes, and heart palpitations. The FDA says most of the pills come from China and are mainly sold on the internet. Here's just a few of the drugs being recalled. They include Fat Loss Slimming, 7-Day Herbal Slim, Royal Slimming Formula, and many others. The full list, by the way, is on our website at NBC6.net. In Oh My Stars tonight, just months after an unimaginable personal tragedy, singer Jennifer Hudson will be stepping back into the spotlight. The Grammy nominee will perform at a charity concert next February. Hudson will sing a song in honor of artist Neil Young. The performance is expected to be Hudson's first appearance since her brother-in-law allegedly murdered her mother, brother, and cousin back in October. Welcome to sports, everyone. Can you imagine the excitement in the locker room tomorrow when the Dolphins head back to practice? For most of the 53 men on the team, Sundays will be the biggest game of their lives. Tonight, we get our first peek inside the Jets' locker room, where the mood is decidedly more subdued. The matchup in the Meadowlands still has plenty of weight for both teams, but the Jets' intensity may have dropped a bit when they lost to Seattle on Sunday, giving the emotional edge to Miami. If the Jets had won that game, this weekend's meeting would be do or die for both teams. Now, the team that was the hottest in the AFC East no longer controls its own destiny, needing help from other teams and, of course, a win over the Dolphins to make it to the playoffs. Now it's still a special game and we still got a chance to, 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 to win and, and do some things here, but it isn't the same way it could have been. Jamal Crawford owns the Heat, a thorn on their side for years. The Warriors guard has 69 points in two games against the Heat this season, so Here's an early Christmas present. Crawford's hurt and missing tonight's game. So and here Miami. are your stocking stuffers, Golden State's other top scorers, Stephen Jackson and Corey Maggette, also out. The first half belonged to Daquan Cook, first streaking in for the one-handed dunk, then catching fire from deep. He didn't hit one, not two. Mm -mm, not even three. Let's keep going, not four. Daquan had five three-pointers in the second quarter, 20 points in the game. The Heat go up by six at the half. Dwayne Wade does his part, too. He catches an inbound pass here and dunks it. Heat up by nine. Flash also in the giving spirit. Sean Marion with the dunk, 86-80 with three minutes to go. Then Wade seals the deal. He drives right through the paint and easy two and finishes with 32 points. The Heat win their third straight, 96 to 88. They now have 15 wins. That's as many as they did all of last season. Wade adds eight rebounds, eight assists, and three steals, and three blocks. I think the only thing is, is when I get 30, um, you know, it's I'm active, um, and it just opens the floor for everyone else. You know, tonight I was more impressed with, um, you know, my overall game than the 30 points. Um, but, you know, if the record keeps going up every time I get 30, we keep winning. I'll take it. The Panthers hosting the Predators, and Tomas Bakun faces his former teeth. Scoreless game in the second when rookie Michael Frolik wrists in the fourth goal of the year. Panthers take a 1-0 lead after two. Then in the third, Corey Stillman falls here, but manages to pass it to Richard Zednick. He misses once, twice, but there is Stillman for the putback. It's his seventh of the season, two zip. Frolik adds an empty netter. Three zip is the final. Vokun posts his second straight shutout, stonewalling 27 shots. 
Florida now has a league leading six shutouts this year. And finally, file this under the Grinch category. Jets lineman Sean Ellis is on the NFL naughty list after throwing a really big snowball, more like, get this, a snow chunk, at fans in Seattle after the Jets' loss on Sunday. Ellis said he did it all in fun, but the league's not laughing. With the fine, that's now a $10,000 ball of ice. <laughs> and that will do it for sports. We will be right back after this. It's going to be good to see him. He's going to freak. Keep doing what's important to you. We'll keep building cars you can count on. See your Honda dealer for some very special offers on all Accords through January 5th. The year-end sell-a-thon is on, and the clock is ticking. We're closing out 2008 by giving you some amazing deals. Now through the end of the year, you can get up to 8,000 combined cash allowance on 08 models. Plus, get a no extra charge DVD on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. And we have hundreds of financing options available, so we're making it easier to get the new vehicle you want. The Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge year-end sell-a-thon is on at your local dealer. So hurry in before 2008 is over. Hungry? South Florida Dine Time helps you satisfy your cravings. Tropical Acres Steakhouse, a classic South Florida landmark that truly has a reputation worth tasting. To learn more, visit NBC6.net slash Dine Time. Hi, I'm Carter Osterhaus. Now, if you know my TV show, then you know Carter can. And guess what? Rooms to go can too. I mean, they make decorating easier and more affordable than anyone else, thanks to their famous Rooms to Go package. An entire room of furniture, each piece a great value. And when purchased all together, an even greater value, which is really good, especially these days. So check out the Rooms to Go package. How great a deal is it? Rooms to Go built their business on it. new Acura TL at the Drive Home for the Holidays event. Celebrate the season with low finance and lease offers. Visit your Acura dealer or shopacura.com. Time Magazine raves. The curious case of Benjamin Button is a sprawling, enthralling movie. Newsweek hails it as a lyrical, original, deeply felt film. I'm not as old as I look. Brad Pitt gives one of the most touching performances of his career. It's me, Benjamin. Oh my God. And now it's nominated for five Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture of the Year. You're on your own road, Benjamin. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Rated PG-13, Christmas Day. Time and temperature from TD Bank. I'm still not used to this after three years here, but like 80 something degrees on Christmas Day. Honey, being in New York, it's like today changing. I mean, like you said, you know what? If you want the cold and snow, hit the airports, fly on out. Yeah. And you'll and see we'll Julia riding it. her bike. We'll enjoy the warm Christmas weather. Yes, it's going to be nice. Have a great night, everyone. Good night. Thank you for watching NBC6 HD. Join Bob Mayer, Pam Giganti, meteorologist Ryan Phillips, and Roxanne Vargas tomorrow morning beginning at 5 for Today in South Florida. And for news 24 hours a day, visit us on NBC6.net.